keeping the rave alive. Hey, this is Adero, keeping the rave alive with Kutsky. Hey, this hey, is Indemian. This is Billy Daniel Bum. This is Danny. This is Andy Whitby, and we're keeping the rave alive. Hi, this is Tilly Tech, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive with Kutsky. Hey guys, this is Dr. Root. You're now listening to my boy Kutsky here at Keeping the Rave Alive. Drop the BS Pandem. What's up, Kutsky? Peace, DJ Yoda. Yoda, 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 Yoda. I'm gonna rip this motherfucker off. Marky G inside the house. This is DJ Kutsky. Be stronger than a hurricane. Yo, this is Silence, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive. Combination style. Oh! Yes, what is happening, ravers? And have we got a good show lined up for you today? It is going to be super good fun. If you're just joining us and you haven't tuned in for the last few weeks, we're in the middle of our retrospective series where each week I'm uncovering the sounds of the events of yesterday that laid the building blocks for the scene that we love today. As always, I want to start out the show by thanking everyone supporting me on Patreon, patreon.com slash KTRA. You can pledge to support me from as little as £2 a month on there and get up to an extra three shows per week in your life. So a huge, huge thanks to everybody continuing to support me on there, which allows me to put in all the effort to make this show for you each and every week for free. So yeah, big up to everyone on there. I'll drop the link in the description of the show wherever you're listening right about now. And I think it's about time that I introduce this week's mix. I don't know why I'm building up so much suspense about it. You saw the title of the show when you clicked play, didn't you? Resurrection, the legendary Scottish events of the 90s. They're still going strong today, but I think 90s was the golden era for that event. I grew up in the north of England, so obviously I was exposed to a lot of DJs that we talked about on the Club Kinetic show, and it was very much the English happy hardcore sound that we got exposure to until one day one of my friends came over with a copy of a copy of a copy of a tape from a DJ called Mark Smith, unbeknown to us at the time, from an event called Resurrection. And it was filled with tracks that we'd never heard before, but it was exactly what we wanted out of hardcore. High energy, hardcore. Hard, happy, energetic vibes. And this is pre-internet as well. This would have been around 1995, so we had no way to find out any more information about this. And it was only later that I found out about these legendary events up in Scotland. Scotland very much with its own sound at the time, more aligned with what was going out in Holland. So this is exactly the sound that we're going to dip into on the show this week. Myself, Kutsky, in the mix with the sounds of resurrection. It's DJ Kutsky in the mix. Keeping the rave alive.
as I can remember, I always wanted to fuck my best friend. <laughs>
you, man!
my words so strong, pure perfection from beginning to the end. I'm here once again.
Yes, hope you enjoyed the show this week. This was another one that I was never able to actually go to these events because I was too young and too far away from where they were actually being held when they were happening, but I love the sound of it. So I do hope that I did it justice. For all the res heads out there, I did notice when I asked on Facebook about tracks that should be included, some people were talking about the very early res sounds of, you know, the likes of like Edge One Compounded, the more old school sound, which yeah, was a viable part of the resurrection sound in the early days but it's not really what I associated with Res, so I didn't include that, so I do apologize about that. Maybe we could do a deep dive in it on a later date. And of course, the elephant in the room was I played Hixie and Sharky Toy Town. Aside from the football allegiances with that track, um, it's very polarising that the original Res Ravers, many of them think that that was when Res took a turning point more to the English Happy Old Class sound, which they weren't so happy with. So yeah, it was a little bit controversial including that one, I do know. But a lot of people also requested it. Just before we let the final vinyl run this week, I do want to give some shout outs to people that have very kindly supported me with the virtual beers, along with the Patreon at the start of the show. That's just a tip system on the show that allows you to support me uh, with a one-off payment. With the analogy being that you're buying me a virtual beer, if you head over to the website, beer.keepingtheravealive.com, you can buy me a virtual beer for three pounds. I'll drop the link in the description. Give us the opportunity to leave your name and a message. And all of this does help me out a lot with making this show each and every week for you. My good friend Blow Up Dave bought me some virtual beers. He's getting busy with his piano lessons and his synthesizers and just bought a new car. So he's been whacking out the show with the hard beats on there. So thank you very much for the support. Appreciate that one, Dave. Also a big shout out to Tim Meadows, who says, hey mate, thanks so much for the Sunday Essential Mix. Brought back so many memories of tunes that I've not heard for donkey's years. Please could you give a shout out to my mate, Dan Jobson. He was a massive Sunday Essential raver. So big up, Dan. And thank you very much, Tim, for the support on there. And also shout out to Fish, who says, mate, it's completely unreasonable for me to be screaming 
screaming and dancing my face off like a kid again. I'm over 40 now. I've got a wife, kids and neighbours and I'm sure that they got a good show. This is the third time that I'm listening to the Sunday Central show and it takes me way back. Thank you. And Fish bought me a bunch of beers. So thank you very much for the support with that. I do appreciate that. I also am now over 40 with a wife, kids and neighbours who greatly appreciate me recording this show each and every week. So yeah, big up Fish. Do appreciate that. Once again, the link is beer.keepingtheravealive.com. I'll drop the link in the description of the show. It's on the KTRA website. I do appreciate the support with that. And I can give you a shout out at the end of next week's show if you would like to consider supporting me this week too. Right, okay, the final vinyl. One track that we had to play, a track by this legendary Scottish art, is sadly no longer with us, the late, great Tom Wilson. And we're going to finish up the show this week with his classic Techno Cat. I will catch you back on the show same time, same place next week. Until then, thanks for tuning in. And as always, keep the rave alive. Have a good weekend. Yo, this is Scott Brown, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive with Cat Steve.